what exactly is the virtual reality game in Brave Lab like? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a mixture of The Sims, World of Warcraft, uh, Sid Meier's Civilization. Sophia, what is it that you actually do at Rave Lab? Um, so I'm the producer, so basically I just tell people what to do. Cool, and what exactly do you think of Nick Floor as a boss? Um, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, um... I think I would go with the word enthusiastic. Legend of the Fall, uh, Grand Theft Auto. But to be fair, Nick really does care about us and cheap labor. All right, so Rodrigo, what do you actually do here at Brave Lab? Well, I think I was supposed to be doing research, but like most of the times when they ask me, I'm not sure what they're talking about. So I don't know if it's because I don't speak English that well, or I don't know, but I think it'll get better. <laughs> So Bjorn, could you tell us about your work on Rave Lab? What does Nick think of your work? Uh, well, I'm the lead artist and I do all the concept art. And uh, he doesn't really say much about my work, um, which means he loves it. So the 3D artists do get the brunt of his enthusiasm. Word up to your face here. Become one with the keyboard, become one with the computer, you create a cube with your mind. Yeah, Rave Lab isn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. I haven't seen one laser show or heard any music at all my entire time of working here. And lastly, I'd throw in Dragon Age, Lara Croft, and Last of Us. Ultimately, our game is full of energy, awareness, and interactivity. And you know, I think we've been doing a great job so far.